Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Let's start today's video off with some very big news. Rubiel Mascara, also known as Nexilla, is officially an IFBB Pro. And good news, he will be competing tomorrow against Samson Dowda, Michael Crizzo, and others. And I've seen Rubiel compete a few times in the IFBB Elite Pro. And I would say this version that he brought to Prague is the best he's ever looked at a bodybuilding show. Now going into tomorrow's Prog Pro, how is he going to stack up against Crizzo, Samson, Horse MD, and Nathan Diasha? I don't want to put too high expectations on Rubiel. He's definitely a freak and could shake some things up, but I'm just going to say he's going to be in the top five. You guys can let me know in the comment section below if you have bolder predictions. Top two, top three. Now I will say this. Between Rubiel, Samson Dowda, and Horse MD, everyone else in their top five are probably going to look like they have chicken legs. And no offense to the competition, it's just a joke, but between Samson, Rubiel, and Horse MD, those are going to be some very large quads on their bodybuilding stage, and any guys that somewhat struggle with leg size is only going to be highlighted placed next to those gentlemen. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Rubiel is going to bring to tomorrow's show. I'm excited, guys. Now, let's switch over to Samson Dowda, the favorite to win, who recently posted up some updates. Looking pretty impressive, by the way. And something I want to mention, you guys know I'm a huge fan of posing and presentation. Samson is probably the best poser in men's open bodybuilding, and I think that will make a huge difference at this weekend's Prague Pro. Between Nathan, Horse MD, Marco Crizzo, Rubiel, nothing against them, but they aren't the best posers don't really hold the poses for that long. Samson Dowda, a completely different story. Samson has the shape, he has the muscularity, and it seems like he's adding a little bit more detail from show to show. Once again, I'm predicting Samson to bring home another pro win. And let's switch over to Marcelo DeAngelis, Horse MD. He posted this up at about one day out. Marcelo is coming off that third place finish in Romania in his pro debut, beating out Nathan Diasha, and he's coming into this show with a full head of steam. But I was expecting Marcelo to be a little bit more conditioned in one day out, but hopefully he still brings it to the show. It was already pretty competitive with Samson, Crizzo, and Nathan, Roman Fritz, Shu Ming Yen, and now we also have Rubiel Mascara in the mix. Horse MD needs to tighten up a little bit. Now before we get into the classic physique competitors, I did want to touch on Nick Walker. Nick Walker, of course, injured his hamstring and a small strain to his calf and was unable to compete at this year's Olympia. But Nick Walker said he will be back and better, as we all expected. And I've been hearing the conversation of should Nick Walker get a special invite? And of course he should. He's the mutant, Nick Walker. And I thought special invites were given at random. But in the past few years, a couple of guys have said that they were applying for a special invite. So if Nick Walker applies for a special invite, I don't really see a scenario where they turn it down. He's the mutant Nick Walker. But I do want to mention this. Before the Mr. Olympia, it was put out that only the top three will qualify for next year to bring more star power to the other shows. Nick Walker having to requalify, it brings star power to the other shows. So that's the other side where he could possibly not get the special invite, but... I think it's up to Nick. If Nick Walker applies for the special invite, then he should get it. And switching back over to the Prague Pro, talking about some of the guys competing in Classic, we have Erez Kalasinski, very similar to Samson Dowda. He placed top three at the Olympia, won a show last week, and he's going for another win this week in Prague. And I do believe we're going to see Erez Kalasinski capture another pro win this weekend in Prague. And thinking about it, I don't think we've ever seen Erez Kalasinski come in off or regress. I think he's only slowly made improvements from show to show. And there's something I don't think anyone has ever mentioned. I mean, we all know that, but just highlighting errors, he's never came in off. So I don't think he'll be off in Prague. Now we also have Michael DeBull coming off this sixth place finish at the Mr. Olympia. Very hungry for a win in Prague. And him and Eris Kalasinski are likely to be the top two. We also have German Pastor in this show. He's a pretty good bodybuilder. But again, I'm honestly very excited for this Prague Pro, especially the men's open division with Nick Zilla. But I think Classic Physique will be pretty interesting to see Michael DeBull and Eris Kalasinski, if they're the top two. Someone could shake things up. But I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.